Lucy, Ardi, and Tucana Boy by KScience.com. These here are the fossils of Ardi, found in Ethiopia in 4.4 million year old rock. This is what Ardi is thought to have looked like. As you can see, it walked upright, but it had many features of an ape. The binomial name for Ardi was Ardipithecus ramidus. Ardipithecus ramidus, that was its binomial name, but we shortened it and know it as Ardi. So Ardi had a small skull volume, which was ape-like, which meant it had a really small brain, like an ape. So Ardi had an ape-sized brain. Ardi had proportionately longer arms than legs, which is also more ape-like. So Ardi had proportionately longer arms and proportionately shorter legs, which gave it an ape-like appearance. As you can see here, this is what the fossils showed Ardi's big toes to have looked like. They were longer big toes. They were longer big toes, not like human big toes, but more like ape-like big toes. And these were so it was adapted for climbing, which meant it was ape-like in its features. And the fossils showed that the hands were not used for walking on. And the fossils showed that the hands were not used for walking on. But the major discovery of Ardi was that it walked upright. And this was seen by structures of the fossils, including the pelvis. So the pelvis and leg structure suggested that Ardi walked upright. So it walked not like an ape, but it was more human-like in the way it walked. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This here is Lucy, by name your name, Australopithecus afarensis, but we shorten it to Lucy as a nickname. Australopithecus afarensis, or Lucy's fossil, was dated at 3.2 million years old. And this is the fossils that were found of Lucy. And this is what we assume Lucy to look like based on the fossils. So the skull volume showed that Lucy had a slightly larger brain than Ardi but it was still chimp-sized. However, the main structural features that differed between Lucy and Ardi was that Lucy had slightly shorter arms and slightly longer legs, but it also had more human-like feet. So Lucy's feet were seen to be more arched than Ardi's. And the big toe that was seen in Ardi, which is more ape-like, is now not seen to be chimp-like like in Ardi's. It is a more human-like big toe. So this has suggested that Lucy wouldn't have been as good at climbing trees as Ardi. So Lucy's legs and arms were more in proportion than Ardi's. And the structure of the pelvis and the legs and the feet suggested that Lucy walked upright as well. But it was seen that Lucy walked more upright than Ardi. This can be seen by the more arched feet and the smaller big toe. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This here is the fossil of Homo erectus, nicknamed Tucana boy. Homo erectus, or the Tucana boy fossil, was found in Kenya and it was dated as 1.6 million years old because the rock it was found in was 1.6 million years old. The Tucana boy fossil showed a skull volume which was larger than Lucy or Ardi's, which meant it had a bigger brain and it had shorter arms and longer legs, which was also more human like. So Homo erectus had a more human-like sized brain, but obviously still much smaller than a human. It had more human-like feet, 
which were more arched than Lucy's feet. The pelvis was more human-like. The pelvis was more human-like, which meant that it was seen to be walking more upright than either Lucy or Ardy, and it had shorter arms and longer legs, which was also more human-like. So it walked more upright than Lucy or Ardy. So it walked more upright than Lucy or Ardy. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.